First off, congratulations, 4.1 million uh, viewers for Who the Who knew? I can't believe it's only 4.1 million because it felt like the whole world was talking about it. Yeah. When it's mentioned on the correspondent, White House correspondent's uh, you know, speech, you think maybe the whole world is watching this. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if they didn't watch before, they're watching now. That's yeah, sure. yeah. So congrats on that. Now, now the, the reunion. It's come at a very emotional price. So as much as I understand the excitement, but still, I never, ever forget that it's real people's feelings and it's real relationships. And there's been a lot of fallout of this, which I hate seeing. I hate seeing that much devastation. Have you been in contact recently with, you know, Tom Sandoval or Raquel? Oh, yeah. Not Raquel. Okay. She's kind of retreated somewhere. Okay. But, uh, yes, Sandoval. Yes, I have. And he's going through something else very emotional at the moment. So, yeah, he's been going through a very difficult time. I know you've said before you kind of look at them like your children in a sense. Like, what advice do you have for him going forward? Uh, don't do anything like that again, maybe. <laughs> uh, well, of course they're like my children. They're the same age as my children. They've worked for me. I mean, Sandal has worked for me since probably four years before we started the show. So that's like, you know, 15 years. He's grown up with me or not grown up, as the case may be. Um, and I do care very much about them each individually. I mean, even through James's sobriety, I would still talk to James even when the cameras aren't rolling, you know, every few days. Um, I, I love them all for all their foibles and their misgivings and, you know, inappropriateness. I, I still love them. I mean, as I said about Tom Sandoval on Watch What Happens Live, you can condemn somebody's actions. I understand that. But you cannot condemn them as people. You, you, you just can't because people screw up. That's life. And unfortunately, it was a double whammy because it was her best friend that she was vociferously defending. It all got very, very complicated. And the way they handled it was diabolical. Yeah. Yeah. How do we kind of go from here as far as shooting next season? Is everyone going to come back? Are people going to play nice? How does that work? Oh, gosh. Well, that's going to be my kind of, um, not responsibility, but maybe I will put some energy in trying to kind of maybe find some cohesiveness again. But, you know, this group have a lot of history between them. And they've come back from a lot in the past. Um, so I, I'm hopeful, but, hey, it's a little way to go yet. Yeah, so but, you know, Tom's going through something very sad right now. Um, so, you know, there's sometimes there needs to be a break. Everybody take a pause and, and still be there to support each other, come rain or shine. So it's hard to say now if everyone will necessarily return. It's too early to say people kind of need to sort of calm and have some time. Oh, I think everybody will probably return because these people love to tell their story. That is for sure. Yeah. Um, and I think they would be remiss if they didn't come back. I mean, they all have such a huge part in the show. But, yeah, we'll see. The reunion, how wild was that? What should we expect from that? Pretty pretty intense? Well, it was actually very complicated, I have to say, and there were a lot of raised voices, but everybody had such a strong opinion. But as it started, it just kind of went, you know, from zero to 100 very quickly, and I just, just like, okay, we're not going to get through nine hours of this or however many long, unless you sit down and you take a breath. And there's a couple of people on this cast that are hard to shut up, to be honest. <laughs> you got to lay down the line. <laughs> I try. I try my best. <laughs> Having been on both Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and Vanderpump Rules, which show do you think has more drama? Well, these people have been together for years and years and years, and so... The drama is very kind of inextricably entwined, you know, the way their relationships. Um, they're not fighting over, you know, like, I don't know what they fight over there. I left because it was just, you know, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, so 10th season was awesome. So this 11th season, one more thing I want to say is on Van Pop Rules, you often see them have a really good time together. I mean, you see, when the cameras aren't rolling, they're also always on vacation together. They buy houses next to each other. They have babies together. Not all bad. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So they do kind of love each other, really. Good point. All right, so 10th season was, was awesome. The 11th season, what should fans expect from that? Oh, gosh, I have no idea, but then I didn't predict this, you know. 
10th season, regardless of Scandal, was still a great season. Until, I mean, you were on episode, we were in double figures already before you found out about this, and it was a great season. People were loving it. Season nine, I didn't like so much. I felt it was stagnant and COVID really kind of, the whole show's about being fluid and moving through it, and it felt a little stilted. But I think season 10, we were back, and we had a big story to tell, and then this. And then who knew?